We're over here at the Palmeyer Project. Things are really cruising. The walls came together. We've got this thing decked. Now we've got a little bit of work to get it dried in, but this is starting to look a whole lot like the Palmeyer house. Fixer Upper got everyone hooked on home renovation and started a whole new era of cottage core aesthetics. Amidst the creative whirlwind, Chip gained to emerge as a standout expert, crafting dream homes that resonated deeply. With the show's lasting impact over the years, Chip Gaines transformed into a household name, leaving an indelible mark on the world of design and renovation. However, scandals took the better of him, and suddenly, even the fans of the celebrity were lashing out on him. So what really happened to Chip Gaines from Fixer Upper that made him completely disappear from the reality show landscape? Let's find out. Okay, Aguilars, are you two ready to see your Fixer Upper? Yes. Abnius, are yes. you ready? Let's I'm go. Ready. All right, let's do it. <laughs> oh my God. Woo. Yes. Chip Gaines was always interested in real estate business, but it took him some time to learn the secrets of this trade. He decided to be a contractor, but his business really took off when he met Joanna. She was a great designer and had an eye for thrifted and pre-loved furniture. She designed their home so well and under budget that something clicked in Chips' mind. He discussed it with Joanna, and in no time, the couple had their fully functional business plan. They got a couple of clients and took on a few renovating projects where Chip used to be the contractor, while Joanna oversaw everything related to design. It's used for life, and so we gotta tear not only the All wood shingle down, but the composite shingle down, and then redeck it, and then re-roof it. It's a lot of work. Their business was going really well, and they soon completed over 200 fixer-upper projects. The husband-wife duo became such a big name that even the celebrities in the area were reaching out to them for renovating their house. Chip soon came under the radar of high noon entertainment producers, and they decided to discuss a reality show pattern with the couple. The producers asked them to be on a show and just do what they do in real life, design the best upper fixer houses. The couple agreed and they discussed all the details. Within a few weeks, the first episode of Fixer Upper aired on TV and it became an instant hit. Joanna and Chip's partnership were setting examples and the way Chip handled all the obstacles in his projects made him an absolute fan favorite. Sometimes that's the beauty in that opportunity that we were given because we weren't chasing that opportunity. It was sort of given to us. It sort of fell out of the sky. It fell, you know, came yeah. in through the back door, if you will. However, it all came crashing down when former partners of Chip took him to court and accused him of some pretty serious things. From this point forward, Chip's popularity took a major hit. By 2017, Chip was on top of his game, and he was getting a lot of money from the show. But this didn't sit well with his former partners. They took him to court because, according to them, Chip persuaded them to sell their share in Magnolia Realty. This was the company they made together, but as Chip was already talking to the producers about a reality show, he wanted it all for himself. So he allegedly didn't reveal anything about the reality show to his partners and instead bought their shares. The partners thought they were doing a fair bargain until they saw Chip promoting Magnolia Realty on his reality show. The company's value skyrocketed and the worst part is Chip's former partners sold their interest for only $2,500 each. As the show was getting more popular, the former partners realized that they had made a huge mistake. So they reached out to court and filed a lawsuit of fraudulent activity against Chip Gaines. However, the court didn't charge Chip because he didn't do fraud to anyone. In return, Chip filed a defamation lawsuit against his former partners that got a lot of coverage too. But before the judge could decide anything, the partners decided to settle the lawsuit and it seems like they had to pay Chip a lot of money for him to settle this defamation case. Although this court case turned into Chip's favor, it actually damaged his reputation quite a lot in front of the audiences and people started seeing him as an opportunist. Besides, this wasn't the only run-in with law that Chip had. What came next completely shattered the reputation and good name of Magnolia Realty and Chip Gaines. Fixer Upper made headlines in 2018, when the Environmental Protection Agency accused them of not taking the lead risks into account. The agency evaluated some of the footage from the show and they declared that Chip wasn't taking safety precautions against lead paint, which could be dangerous for people moving in after the renovation. 
The report also stated that other than using paints that have a lot of lead, Magnolia Homes was not taking any measures to minimize the risk and not even acknowledging how paint with lead could be disastrous for health. As this news got out, the company had to bear a whopping fine of over $40,000. People also criticized them for not caring about the health of their clients and only trying to cut corners. However, Chip felt a lot of regret, and he didn't just pay a fine but also took quick measures to fix his mistake. An entire episode of their show talked about lead paint and how it can be bad for health. This was to raise awareness because most people don't really know about it. But their initiatives towards improving themselves didn't just stop there. They also donated $160,000 in a lead abatement fund in Texas. Fans praise both Chip and Joanna for not just paying the fine, but also trying to correct their mistake. Fortunately, this old house tested positive for lead, so today we've all got to wear these groovy white suits. Some people still criticize them for trying to buy people off with funds, but they're playing their part in lead paint awareness, and that's all that counts. And people are also paying more attention to the paint Magnolia Homes uses now. So far, they're not repeating their mistakes, which is another good sign. Chip Gaines is still an absolute heartthrob, despite all the scandals, and that's probably why a swarm of fans surrounds him wherever he goes. But he soon realized that the price he had to pay for this fame is going to be far greater than he ever anticipated. It all started with an incident when Chip went to the flea market with his son. He was talking casually when people started gathering around him and he lost sight of his son. It was such a massive crowd that for a moment, Chip felt like he had lost his son and it made him rethink all his life decisions. He was trying to let people know that his son was waiting for him, but he couldn't see him. However, he didn't know how to get away from the fans without sounding rude or arrogant. He was feeling helpless and revealed that he took a sigh of relief only when he got to his son. This incident entirely changed the way Chip handled fame, and it also made him think twice before signing a new reality show. Moreover, Chip also decided to focus more on his personal life and his kids, while they still ran their multiple businesses related to furniture and home decor. Only a while after this incident, photos of Chip went viral for all the wrong reasons. Chip was bald in the photos, and he actually looked like he's tired and has lost a lot of weight. These photos started a rumor that Chip has cancer, and within a few days, the whole world chimed in, and everyone was sending best wishes to Chip. People were messaging Chip on social media platforms and approaching him in person, and Chip was left speechless by how big this rumor became. He didn't want to say the wrong thing and hurt anyone's sentiment, so he stayed quiet for a while. However, it soon became clear that the rumors weren't going to stop on their own. Some people started circulating the news that Chip had lost his life, and that's when he decided to intervene and give a statement that he's safe, sound, and doing pretty well. He revealed that he's gotten all his hair removed because of a fundraising campaign. He was actually running a cancer campaign for which he became bald, and people started circulating all sorts of wild rumors. He's only gone off the grid to spend more time with his family and pay attention to his booming business. Otherwise, a lot of other brands were replicating their style and taking advantage of the aesthetic that Chip and Joanna introduced. So he decided to take a break and focus more on expanding his furniture business. Rumors still surface about Chip from time to time, but he barely ever responds to them anymore.